Well, it's Monday morning, and uh, kids are going to be going to school. I just want to share with you a verse today. Uh, in these days of complexity, we have to try and simplify and uh, zero everything down to the most important thing so that we don't become confused. And uh, I just want to share with you one thing that the Lord spoke to me about today from Psalm 27 and verse 4. And it says this, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. It's actually very simple, isn't it? We have to reduce everything down. and We're filled with so many anxieties and worries at the moment that we let our minds become preoccupied with them. And we lose track, we lose touch, we lose sight. The one thing <clears throat> that is needful. It's a little bit like Jesus' words to Mary when he visited Mary and Martha's house and Martha was so busy distracted it says with so many things and he said to her that Mary has chosen the one thing the most important thing which was to sit at his feet interesting that to sit at the feet of a rabbi was actually a technical term at that time for a disciple and here we have a woman unusually Jesus accepted women as disciples but one thing I ask of the Lord one thing do I seek, to dwell in his house forever, to seek him in his holy temple, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord. One thing. And I just encourage you to let that be your one thing for today. Dwell in his house. The whole world is his house. Your body is his temple. But be with him today. Let everything else that's distracting you, that's preoccupying you, of course you may have work to do, don't slack off, but take time, concentrate on the one thing that is needful. Mary chose it, we can choose it too, that we will be able to gaze on the beauty of the Lord, dwell in his house forever and ever, choose the important thing. Sometimes even as a pastor I get preoccupied with the business of being a pastor working for God instead of communing with God, trying to achieve things for his kingdom instead of enjoying his presence. We become task-oriented, goal-oriented. We become focused on doing instead of being. Let's be still. Let's take that time out. And even when we can't take physical time out, let's silence or let's still, let's quieten our minds to spend time with God today. Take that time to spend time in his presence. One thing, one thing, among all the, the many things, one thing. Father, thank you that you call us to be in your presence, to have fellowship with you, to have a relationship with you. Help us to find that quiet space in the world or in our hearts to be with you today, to seek your face, to gaze on your beauty in your temple, in your house. And may we be able to do that forever and have eternal rest, even as we are in your presence. Amen. So thank you for being with me this morning. Remember that uh, these are up five days a week uh, on YouTube and on uh, social media. Please do uh, follow me or subscribe to me on YouTube. It will be good for me, good for you. Uh, remember that our services at King's Cross are on uh, Facebook, uh, Sundays at 11 o'clock in the morning, and 1.30 for our French language service, and our midweek service uh, at 7 o'clock on Thursday evening. The, during this uh, lockdown period, of course, there are no buildings, no services in the building, but this week from today, Monday to Thursday, at 9.30 to 11.30, our building will be open for personal prayer. Uh, so uh, do come and join us if you're in the area. Um, in addition, on Sunday evenings during November, we have a new program on Instagram 
at KCBC London called Thinking Aloud, which is looking at some of the questions facing us as Christians, some kind of basic apologetics. Um, first one was last night on what's God doing during COVID. You'll find a recording of that on KCBC London on Instagram. And um, next Sunday on the 15th uh, will be How Do We Know There's a God? How do we know that God is real, that God exists? And Nick Bianchi from Cheam Baptist Church with a ministry into universities will be uh, sharing with me at that program. So God bless you, God be with you, and he is with you always. Amen.